Jingle dee jing, hee haw, hee haw, it's Dominic the donkey. Jingle dee jing, hee haw, hee haw, the Italian Christmas donkey. Who's, who's donkey here? You do not ask that question or otherwise you'll fall in the river. <laughs> and speaking of rivers, today we're going to do a river club. Can you call me donkey? Baby, you don't know how to sing. Shut up. Okay. So, here is our river, right? And I know it's a red river, but uh, I only have one marker. So, pretend it's blue. Make sure there is no alligator in the river. This is in Florida, so there aren't any alligators or other creepy creatures in the water. Okay. So, there's a pretty powerful waterfall at the end of this river causing a current of eight meters per second. So then there's this little guy named Saborno Isaac and he falls in the river. Baby, I told you don't go to the river. Or else he'll totally, not intentionally, fall into the river. Okay, so he is in the river now, <gasps> but he knows how to swim and he can swim Let's just draw him over here. And he can swim. V sub orno is 10 meters per second in Maybe any direction. Maybe you uh, swim faster than you 10 miles per hour. Miles per hour or less than meters per second. Anyways. Uh, all right. So, if V sub orno, if sub orno over here can move 10 meters per second in any direction, and he chooses to aim straight for the other shore, so just straight upward and the current pushes him to the right at eight meters per second then what is his velocity because as short, observed because shortest distance is always a straight line maybe always swim in straight line okay so if we have uh so what is his total velocity as observed by a heartless bystander mm. well let's see I'll tell you, 10 plus 818. You're gone crazy. Wait, you're gone crazy? No, you've gone crazy. You stupid. But okay. You, you don't add addition. This is vector addition, not scalar addition, genius. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is our first vector so this is v s then our second vector is zero one two three four five six seven eight so we draw it and this time this is the velocity of the current now since we already have it in a head to tail formation, all we have to do is we take the tail of VS and then the head of VC. Okay, that's a good enough line by hand. Uh, it's not good enough, but whatever, whatever. And we could actually use the parallelogram method as well because this is also, whoops, this is seven. This is VC, and if this is VS, then the longest diagonal of the parallelogram, and rectangles are parallelograms, yes, calm down, the longest diagonal of the parallelogram represents the sum of VS and VC. Now, how do we find that? Well, let's think about it. This kind of looked like a triangle with two sides VS and VC, right? So let's draw that sort of triangle. So if we have Vs, Vc, and then V resultant, Vr, how do we find Vr? Well, Vr squared is equal to Vs squared plus Vc squared. So Vr is the square root of this. So now we get Vr is equal to the square root of 10 squared plus 8 squared. 10 squared is 100 and 8 squared is 64. So this is the square root of 164, which is 12.8.
well, approximately 12.8, because 12.8 squared is actually 163.84, but we ignore that part. So, VR is about 12.8. So, that means that the total resultant of the distance is 12.8, or if we wanted to put it on the graph, can I erase a little bit? If we wanted to put it on the graph, VR is equal to 12.8 meters per second. Good. What about this angle right here? Well, how do we find the angle again? Look at this triangle and realize that this is the angle theta that we're looking for. Oh, all right? This one, right over here. So, to find theta, let's say we have cos theta, or rather, tan theta, is equal to uh, opposite over adjacent. Sorry, I forgot my SOKATOA. So opposite is VS, and adjacent is VC. So that means theta is simply arctan of VS over VC. What is VS? Well, VS was 10, and VC was 8. So that means it's arctan of 10 over 8, 51.3 degrees. All right, so that well, we now know that this is 51.3 degrees. So, by the way, oh yeah, let's draw that over here. This is 51.3 degrees. All right, so now let's do some vector subtraction. All right, so now, Saborno decides to, instead of swimming directly towards the other shore, to put his velocity of 10 meters per second at an angle with the hope that the x, the x component of his velocity will cancel out with the v current, which is going 8 meters per second this way. So what we're trying to do here is subtract vectors and find his total y velocity that he will use to get across. So here is going to be our vs, which is 10 meters per second. This is going to be our vc, which is 8 meters per second. And the thing is, realize that uh, the x component of this needs to be 8 meters per second to cancel out this. And then we draw another one of these vs equals 10 meters per second and then we simply connect these no sorry wrong way and then we simply connect these with vc equals 8 meters per second all right so now let's draw the diagonal first and we'll start from the origin over here and we need to go oh from here all the way to there so let's do that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, and all right. So here is our point. And this is our line. Okay, and it is going this way. So now let's just. I put one more ink. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw Vs, uh, no, Vc, which is 8 meters per second from here to here. And obviously, this will only be 8 units. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Draw that over there. All right. So now, we draw Vs again all the way from here to here just like we did over here. So this is our vector, and here's our arrow. And now we have VC once again, from here all the way to here. So now, subtracting these vectors means we use the shorter diagonal. So this line right here is going to be our resultant. And how long is that line? Well, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units long. And that 
is our vector subtraction. And if you wanted to use an equation to do it, you'd use the Pythagorean theorem. Here we have a velo you could call this velocity resultant. And this is velocity suborno, and this is the velocity current. And here, velocity current squared plus velocity resultant squared is equal to velocity suborno squared. So velocity resultant squared, velocity uh, suborno squared minus velocity current squared. And so the velocity resultant is the square root of all of that. So what is that equal to? Well, Vs is 10 squared minus Vc is 8 squared. 10 squared is 100 and 8 squared is 64. And 100 minus 64 is 36. The square root of 36 is 6, meaning that Saborno will travel across the river at 6 meters per second. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.